Well, hi there. Uh, welcome to Saturday. I uh, hope you're going to have a great weekend and enjoy uh, the weather that has been so fantastic over the last few days. Well, I read about uh, a guy who was known as Ethan the Supreme. He was a uh, YouTuber. He, it's, he was described as having Hellboy tattooed on his chest and anxiety written in his heart. He was uh, a much-loved YouTuber. In fact, he had uh, half a million, over half a million people who followed him on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, that signalled that he'd actually made it. Uh, he'd had what so many young men, uh, he was 17, so what m many young men want, a successful YouTube channel. He had uh, fame that comes with that. Well, uh, a recent study showed that YouTuber was the most common answer given by 8 to 12 year olds in the US and the UK to the question, what do you want to do when you grow up? Another study found that in the top five career aspirations of six, uh, six to 17 year olds, uh, the media was number one, and one of those jobs uh, was YouTuber. Uh, YouTuber is the common answer to the question, what do you want to do when you grow up? Yet ironically, Ethan turned to drugs to cope with his, the fame that he had. Ethan's friend uh, Ava Lewis explains, he turned to drugs due to the pressure of being famous. Online at such a young age is difficult. Well, someone else writing about Hollywood and drugs said, from the homeless individual uh, who moved to Hollywood to get famous but didn't make it, to the multi-million dollar celebrity who did. Hollywood is a place where people are on drugs when they don't make it and on drugs when they do. Uh, why is that true? Well, what if the problem isn't fame or isn't lack of fame, but rather an emptiness with inside, not knowing what one's true identity is? Of course, our identity is found in being part of God's creation and ultimately being one of his loved children. Uh, what if our, our young people uh, are actually climbing the wrong ladder, the wrong mountain, and when they find themselves at the top, they simply want to jump off, realising that they've invested so much of themselves into something that ultimately didn't prove to, to be satisfying or helpful for them. Well, 2 Corinthians uh, 5.17 uh, says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ... He is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not con counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We who are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This gives us a, a, a meaning in life. It tells us that we, are, we find our identity in Christ and he's given, of a, given us a task of letting other people discover who he is as well. We are his ambassadors. Well, I just wanted to um, finish with a, uh, a moment's prayer. Of course, uh, the news for New South Wales, and Dubbo in particular, seems to be getting a little worse uh, day after day. But of course, it is far worse in other places. Uh, I just uh, this week received uh, a report from Baptist churches in, in Asia, and uh, they mentioned the fact that 221 pastors have died uh, in recent months. That's not people, uh, that's not church members, that's just pastors. 122 in Bangladesh, 88 in India, and 11 in Indonesia. It, it, uh, it speaks of volumes of people who are dying in those countries. Uh, let's bring them to prayer. Father, we see uh, so much uh, need in this world and uh, so many people grieving from COVID uh, even now. We pray, Father, for those in Bangladesh, uh, Indonesia and India and no doubt other places that uh, we don't have the statistics for. We pray, Father, for those who are unwell, for those who are grieving.
that you would help them, that they might find their hope and strength in you. Indeed, Father, we pray for ourselves in Australia and Dubbo, and pray likewise that we might find our hope and strength in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Just remind you of church tomorrow at 9.30. I uh, hope we can, um, we can connect then. Bye for now.